Hi there, my name is Logan Campbell and today I'll be presenting uh, about platinum, its uses, and its rarity in the earth. First, I'd like to give a couple characteristics about platinum. According to rsc.org, platinum has an atomic number of 78, an atomic mass unit of 195.08, it is a group 10 transition metal, has shiny metallic luster, a melting point of 1,773 degrees Celsius, and a boiling point of 3,827 degrees Celsius. Uh, platinum is a very ductile uh, metal and very malleable, meaning it can be pulled into thin wires and hammered into thin sheets. It is also one of the most dense elements on the periodic table, coming in at 21.45 grams per cubic centimeter. When exposed to air, platinum does not corrode and is and or tarnish like other metals, and because of this property, it is known as a noble metal since it is so unreactive. The discovery of platinum. According to encyclopedia.com, platinum was first discovered by the natives in Central America. It was later discovered by Julian Caesar Scaligar in 1557, who was the first to write about platinum and its properties. Uh, he was introduced to platinum by the natives as he visited Central America and was shown its usefulness in jewelry. Although, although he was the first to discover it, uh, Spanish naval officer Antonio de Ulloa was the first one to be credited with the discovery of platinum. He brought it back to Europe in the 18th century and was, gave it the name platinum, which is derived from the name platina, which means little silver in Spanish. It is given this name because of the problems that many people got when trying to mine uh, for silver and gold as platinum usually got in the way of this and was seen as a nuisance at first. Although he was, wasn't the first to discover platinum, he was the first to study platinum and by 1774 platinum had officially been established as an element. The rarity of platinum. According to jmboolean.com, platinum makes up approximately 0.01 parts per million of the Earth's crust. The price of platinum right now is around $937.20 per ounce. For a comparison, in 1992, 3.8 million ounces of platinum were mined. Compare that to the 50 million ounces of gold and 400 million ounces of silver mined in that same year. Occurrences. According to slideshare.net, platinum occurs naturally with other metal ores that are associated with basic igneous rocks. Pure platinum does not occur in nature and therefore is usually alloyed with other metals. The hardest part about producing, producing platinum is separating it from other platinum group uh, metals such as palladium. Since platinum isn't found in very large quantities, it is usually produced as a byproduct when mining for nickel, copper, or other platinum group metals such as palladium. The layered mafic intrusions, shown in my slides right here, are the world's largest source of platinum group metals. These formations uh, are formed when repeated bursts of magma cool slowly in giant subsurface chambers. The layering effect is a result from the re repeated injections of magma, which then leads to the crystallization of minerals. The formation itself is fairly rare and was formed approximately 500 million years ago in the Precambrian period. The layered mafic intrusions, it, the, the, the largest layered mafic intrusion is the Bushveld complex in South Africa, where in 2012, 95% of the world's platinum group me metals were mined here. Now onto the production of platinum. According to greatmining.com, Stillwater Mining Company is the sole producer of platinum for the US. The US uh, only has two mines actually, uh, both of them are in Montana, around 12 miles apart from each other, and these mines are the Stillwater Mine and East Boulder Mine. Even though uh, the U.S. produces a large amount of platinum, there's still around only 2% of the world's platinum. The largest producer of platinum is South Africa, which produces three times as much platinum as the rest of the world. Uses of platinum. According to encyclopedia.com, because of platinum's non-corrosive quality, and extreme rarity is used mainly in jewelry. Unlike gold, platinum jewelry is 95% pure platinum, with the other 5% coming from other platinum group alloys such as palladium, ruthenium, or iridium. 
This is one of the reasons why platinum is so expensive because it's so pure and almost completely pure platinum. The largest use of platinum, around 33% of platinum, is used in catalysts. Uh, a catalyst, according to dictionary.com, is a substance that causes or accelerates a chemical reaction without itself being affected. Platinum catalysts are used mainly in the oil industry to convert crude oil into usable petroleum products. Platinum catalysts are also used in making fertilizers, plastics, synthetic fibers, and pharmaceuticals. The most well-known catalyst is the ones used in our cars and automobile, automobiles every day. The catalytic converter, converter found in all modern automobiles is a platinum catalyst that helps gasoline burn more completely, thus giving us better uh, miles per gallon. 30% of the platinum of the world's platinum is used in industry. The chemical, electrical, glass, and aircraft industry all use platinum in their products. For an example, the glass industry uses platinum in optical fibers, and liquid crystal, crystal displays are all found in all of your laptops. The smallest percent of the world's platinum is used in coins, bars, ingots, and other investment purposes, which accounts to around 8% of the world's platinum. Now, some of the hazards that are involved with mining platinum. According to MIT.edu, uh, most precious metals, such as platinum, are mined through open pit mining. This can lead to the destruction of surrounding ecosystems and contaminate with dust and metal. Although platinum is not harmful to humans, when mined, the debris can get into the air and cause irritation to the nasal cavities. It is also, uh, over a long term, can cause uh, problems with shortness of breath. And finally, for my conclusion, uh, I conclude that platinum is a very valuable and useful element. Uh, its rarity makes it worth the extensive process that it, takes to, that it takes to mine it. And I believe that platinum should be continued to be mined uh, until we find it unnecessary to do so. Uh, because it provides products for economy that helps boost our economy, such as the other investment purposes, such as coins and bars. And it has very little impact on the environment. Thank you for your time. There are my sources.